What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about Pez Mobile or eFootball 2022, the mobile version. So if uh, if you've missed the other video where I did on the console version or the PC version of the game with all the news and everything coming for V1.1 with that, check that out. But today we're going to be taking a look at the Pez Mobile or eFootball Mobile as, as it's going to be called now. So um, effectively the mobile version of eFootball 2022, um, that's getting ready to launch obviously with season two as well. So they're just having a chat here with Gerard Piquet as he plays the new update V1.1 um, and it's a trailer for that and they're talking about like different things in, in this version that they've kind of tweaked and stuff. Um, I do like the way they say at the start of the interview that, you know, the, the, the feedback and stuff has been very critical. That's been going back all the way back in September and I think that they have they have got the gameplay to a very you know, a, a much better place. There's still room to improve, obviously, as with all games, but they still need to figure out a lot of stuff. But the stuff that they are focusing on in the in the notes that they're putting out and saying that they're looking at, in my opinion, it's the it's the right way to do it. You know, be very transparent and say, yeah, look, we're looking at, you know, improving the kickoff stuff. Uh, we're looking at improving the defense. We're looking at improving, you know, when the referees um, call for fouls and stuff. So we're not going to focus too much on um all that kind of stuff today because we already have gone over it in detail on another video that i've done which focuses on the console and the pc versions of the game so if you want to check that out just as we're playing this trailer uh through twitter here um you know where pk is 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 going on about the different commands and the different setups and stuff it's about a four minute video i think um so you can go, you guys can have a look at that and see but it's just a couple of nice bits of play and just talking about the link up play talking about the passing defending shooting stunning shots all that sort of stuff right um but the big bulk of this video is for mobile fans right so whether you play or don't play mobile there is a huge fan base for it and a lot of people have been asking me to cover the announcements that were announced for the mobile version of the game. So we're just going to go through the official website, lads, and 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 have a look at it. So starts us off by bringing us to the beautiful blue and yellow, and it says in eFootball 22, we have added several new commands for you to revel in the tactical battles that are also so prevalent in real world soccer. On top of that, we have also implemented changes to some of the commands from previous installments. In this section, we'll be going through these commands based on different control types. Note that the control type previously known as Advanced in PES 2021 has been renamed Touch and Flick in this installment. So yeah, okay, we'll leave that as is. Uh, for more information regarding the different commands, check the command list in game, right? So as you see here, right, in, you know, blue at the header the header bar here mobile right so all of this stuff here um you've got your nav bar here where you've got your season season one season two patch notes all that sort of stuff but this mobile here we're going to be taking a look at the controls right so we've got new commands in eFootball 2022 and it's broken down into new commands classic modified commands classic new commands touch and flick which they've mentioned there replaces advanced and then modified commands for touch and flick. So basically modified commands for advanced. So if you played on advanced controls or you played on classic controls, advanced is now known as touch and flick, right? Yeah, don't ask. Anyway, control type classic, right? So the new commands in eFootball 2022, we've got a load of ones that they're just shown here on mobile. So this is kind of the first, you know, outright um, definitive mobile uh, footage that we've got, I suppose, of the gameplay, right? So we're going to have a quick look through here and we're going to play this uh, picture in picture here with while we're talking about it. But this is just showing you how to do a sharp touch. There's new commands, obviously, and it's showing you how to flick on the left side with dash dribbling. You've got your buttons over here, obviously, for mobile devices. Um, and then you've got, obviously, your movement of the players and you've got the little arrows underneath. I'm sure that you'll be able to change them, but most people might leave them on for mobile. Um, it depends, but that is a, sh uh, you know, a, a sharp touch. So one of the deciding factors in dribbling is rhythm. Dribbling in a relaxed rhythm when before suddenly accelerating can help you leave your opponents chasing shadows. The sharp touch command is at ready for you to take a strong touch and swiftly accelerate to leave the defender behind so again that's nice you know going through the paces obviously of kind of slowing down the tempo and then bursting past uh players you know so that's probably uh something that everyone's going to be doing a lot with eFootball 2022 stun and pass so this is another new one obviously that console fans have seen um and have been playing since you know the beta back in september or before so low passes, lofted passes, and crosses alike. Now you can play all kinds of passes incisively using stunning kicks, right? So to play a penetrative 
kick in real life you have to take a bigger stride you know you have to give yourself more of a, a of a, a a run up we have also created that motion in this in installment of the game that means this means that the ball would take longer to leave the player's feet so yeah i've seen this happen before it is very hard to get off a stunning shot online against a good player you know you need a lot of space right so they just showed a stunning uh low pass here and there's a couple of different ones so they have the stunning low pass which you can see here and again, lads, you can go in and have a look at this. And when you do get your hands on the mobile edition, you'll be able to test all this stuff out yourself. You've also got similarly, uh, instead of a low one, you've got a lofted pass. So think of this like kind of a Javi Alonso type pass uh, or a Pirlo-esque Beckham type pass that you can have here. And you can see that the arrows there is going up, kind of um, showing you where the ball is going to go. You've also got the stunning true ball. So you can play this one. This is one I don't often use, but I should start using it because it is very OP from what I've heard. But you've got the stunning true ball here. It puts a bit of salt and pepper on that. A nice little nice little angle in here. And you've also got stunning fly true pass. Uh, faster than a normal chip shot true pass with a slightly lower trajectory further. More the ball would tend to end closer to the receiver's feet than usual, right? So there's a lot of different information here. You've got stunning true pass. And then you've also got this one here. Uh, stunning chip true pass um which is quite nice as well and again they're just showing you all the different ways to do it it's kind of like a tutorial and showing you the new the new stuff you've also got stunning cross again says you know is it's does exactly what it says on the tin uh you've got your stunning cross where you put in a pace this is super op at the moment in the console version of the game you've also got the stunning low cross then as well a lot of people like to use this one as well um so again they've they're all the new control for the passing of the the, on the mobile devices right next up we've got stunning shot right so swift are more accurate than the normal shots with a, mari a myriad of the shot trajectories offered you can now attempt stunning shots for your next finish however as it requires the same striding motion as stunning passes you will need to draw the opposition away and create space and opportunity for the striker to attempt the shot so you'll see here there is a bit of a wind up right that it's like a first time or you can have the ball have your foot in the ball when you have a bit of space this is kind of an advanced shooting technique and you can just pretty much score absolute thunderbolts adriano-esque style so next up we've got shield again this is something that console players will be used to um it was super op last year i think but this year they've kind of changed it a little bit that it's not as overpowering but you can still do it when you've got a strong player like ibrahimovic or someone like that uh pass and run which is a crossover as the name suggests it is a command in which the passer will make a diagonal run across the receiver after playing the pass so a lot of people use this kind of touch and go and it depends on the AI a lot of the time as well, but you do, you can, you can, um, you can instigate it here or initiate it here, I should say, um, on the mobile here, as you see here with the player running and he's continuing his run on, which is quite nice. Next up, we've got defending, right? So defending is probably going to be your main, you know, the skill gap that if you are good at defending and match up and shoulder charge and pressure and all that sort of stuff, we've got all the classic stuff coming over here from the console version of eFootball 2022. So you've got defenders going up against an oncoming dribbler. They will approach, match up, press L2 or L, L trigger when defending. And you can see it here replicated in the mobile version as well. So uh, this is all about sticking the player's foot out that you're able to kind of sit back and not jockey, so to speak, but more about kind of putting pressure on where the ball is going to go rather than actually home a missile in on the player, right? So it's a bit finicky sometimes on console, but it looks okay there. Um, again, you'll have to test it out yourself. And again, you've got the new um you've got the console there where you're talking about it and obviously with the mobile version as well you will be able to play it with with um, a pad you know what i mean a controller pad so uh i'm not too sure how many controller pads will work will you be able to use you know like all the bluetooth ones but that remains to be seen shoulder charge again i'll let this video play through it does you know pretty much self-explanatory as well um and you can see here the triggers here for how to do it and you've got your shoulder charge You've got your call for pressure. So this is a new one as well. Um, so this replaces the old team press um, where the players like would all chase the ball. Now, this is kind of a risk reward thing. It is a bit kind of, you know, a lot of people use it, but a lot of people get caught out with it. So you have to be careful with that one. And it will be very interesting to see how this applies on mobile here. Um, so next up, we've got modified commands from eFootball tw uh, PES 2021. So they've got all these new ones here that you you will probably you guys that play mobile a lot will be familiar with. So you've got quick stop face to the opponent's goal. This is a really good one for like stopping on a on a sixpence and then turning and being able to like accelerate away. And of course, if you're mixing and matching all of these, you're going to be an advanced player. Lofted pass. 
I've just pretty much a simple lofted pass through. As you can see here, flick the pass button upwards or downwards. There you go. You've got fly through pass, classic trip, a classic chip through ball, which is here. So yeah, lads, that is pretty much it, right? That is pretty much it for the mobile. There's obviously going to be all the stuff coming as well because on the mobile you're also going to have the 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 like all the legends and all that sort of stuff coming as well. Um, as you can see here, there's all the all the like eventually there is going to be the cross gen and the cross play and all that. We don't know when that's one hundred percent going to be coming in. Um but they are doing maintenance on this part of the mobile website at the moment so unfortunately they have that not that updated yet um but yeah that is it lads that is it for me let me know um what you guys think of that if you're looking forward to um the mobile version of it and yeah let me know what you guys think of that i'll be back quite soon and uh yeah peace